it's day 20, it's the penultimate day, and we're in test pit two, trying to get through the last task we need to put this hole to bed safely. We've extracted the layer of horizontal wood, and we're now going to recover the upright posts. For the most part, this means we're going to saw them off. This is one we've sawn off this morning. Uh, we're sawing these off, one, to protect the underlying archaeology. If we leave these in, they act as a sort of capillary action and they can allow oxygen and microbes to travel down into the stratigraphy and moisture to wick up. So we're taking them off partially to protect the underlying archaeology and partially for the information they contain. These posts have been sat in the ground for sort of 3,000 years and some of them have been sat directly under polythene for 22 years and we want to have a look at the cellular structure and find out how woody these are and what kind of decay has gone on over time so we can really start to understand the burial environment. Here in trench one and what we've got here is a ditch running through the middle of it. At the beginning we thought that this may go around off that way and create a little wash, backwash here in, in this section here and the main ditch goes over there. So far that hasn't uh, panned out. What we've um, done here is taken out a lot of this dark fill and the oxidised red fill and taken out any of the preserved wood features like we've got here. We're at test pit three. We're getting towards the end of things here. Uh, there's probably another dozen or so major pieces of timber to lift. Once we've done that, which would uh, probably be this afternoon, we'll uh, cut a sondage or a small trench within a trench for taking samples uh, at different depths to be sent away for analysis. Um, this is the Bronze Age round house which was built by Dave Bridgefield. You're more than welcome to ask him how he constructed such a thing of beauty. So one of the things that we really wanted to try and explain to all you guys was how we're pushing forward our recording processes as part of this unique approach to funding and staffing an archaeological excavation through crowdfunding and crowdsourcing. I think to demonstrate this, it's good to have a look at this, which is a kind of a standard archaeological notebook of which our excavations were recorded pretty much continuously over the last hundred years, with the director making all the notes and doing all the drawings, whilst um, all the labourers inside the trench took all the features. But this was really, um, uh, this really evolved when we. Uh, invented the context sheet which allows each individual excavator to uh, explain and describe each feature that they're digging um, so that they can feel part of the interpretive process and that they can have their say in how the site was excavated. But we're taking that process and, and pushing it one step further with some technology that's been developed by LP Archaeology, which is known as the ARC, which is the Archaeological Recording Kit, which in effect takes that kind of recording, that context sheet recording, and puts it onto the internet so that there is a user interface through a browser. Now this is fantastic for us because it allows us to record things the moment it happens through our iPads, take photos on the iPads and then that's available to everyone back at the office uh, at our, our, our base and HQ in the museum where we can start to assess and really get to uh, analyse um, all those features as, as it's happening. We can really build the picture of the excavation. But more than that, because it's access to a browser and because it's on the internet the moment that we dig it it means that all you guys at home can start to see the things that we're recording and the things that we're excavating even comment on the things that we're doing right there the moment it's excavated well and you might be saying to yourself but you're in the middle of a field how is it that you've got internet well we've been really lucky this year because we've got a company called sys live who have come up to site and put up a dish for us so that we've got um, access to the internet and we've been using that not only for our ARC recording system but also for all of the social media and the live sort of moments from the trenches that we've been broadcasting ever since we came here 19 days ago and without SIS we wouldn't have been able to stay in touch with you at home watching us and we wouldn't have been able to make you so much a part of what's happening here and of course our model was built on having people here in the trenches with us digging but also watching from home and sharing the experience with us as we're going so we just wanted to say thank you to SIS and also to show you exactly how it works whilst we're here with the services that they've provided.
So day 20 and um, it's my last day here today. So I need to go through all the, all the context records, all the drawings, make sure everything's up to date, all the records are, are, are working quite nicely. It's an important part of the archaeological process. It's probably 50% of the work we do is recording. Uh, so I need to make sure that all this lot is, is properly done um, and signed off, ready for input into the, into the database. Um, we, from yesterday when we um, started cleaning back along the whole of this trench, um, we continued that today and we found um, a few small post holes along this edge here, um, which at the moment um, are still being excavated, so that will be um, good for later on. Um, down at the end of this trench, um, we've taken off the last remaining bits of buried soil and we found those post holes that hopefully will make up the alignment with the trench from before. Um, that should um, be really, really good as soon as we can get those starting to excavate. The big hole in the middle of this trench here um, is the uh, remains of the pit or uh, prop of pit that we found and started excavating yesterday um, and we finished that today. Within that we've got some really lovely flints coming out of it. So that's um, the feature of this trench we think. the end of day 20, the penultimate day on site and as you can see down here we have lots, well lots of mud coming out it's because we're digging right down to the bottom of the posts to try and get them out by the end of tomorrow it's very dirty work, as you can see I'm incredibly dirty, it's really bad